If you're an investor in Toronto, Canada, or anywhere in Canada, really, doesn't matter. Uh, current client of mine I'm working with, he's from Toronto. But anybody in Canada, this video is really going to appeal to you. I'm going to show you how to get an apartment building in the United States for half price. And that's not half price of what you'd pay in Canada. <laughs> no, it's, what you pay in Canada is like 10 times more. I'm going to show you how to get in a particular apartment building half off of what everybody else would be paying in the U.S. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to work with you. I'm here to work with Canadian investors like my man Hassan from Toronto to help you guys get in the United States real estate game, right? I work the most affordable markets in the U.S., which happen to be some of the most affordable markets in the world. Uh, so if you're from Canada like Hassan is and you're trying to work with me one-on-one -on -one, like you're about to watch me and Hassan work together, uh, you could click the show notes below to book a free call or our email's right there. Just send your number to that email and we'll get on the phone with you because this is not live for you guys. I sent this house, this property, it's 1053 Washington. I sent this analysis to him months ago. So this deal, uh, by the time it gets released publicly on Holton Wise TV, it's not available, right? So Hassan, you reached out to me because you got quite a bit of coin. You want to build an apartment building portfolio in America, right? I'm going to help you do that. And the particular apartment building I have for you today is, number one, my favorite kind of apartment building of all time. Number two, it's half off. It should normally cost over 200000 You can get it for about 100000 and I'm going to explain why right now. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Why is this quad half price, right? Why is it half off, okay? This property, four-unit apartment building. I love four-unit apartment buildings. If you've never watched Holton Wise TV before, you don't know what I'm about to tell you. If you have watched Holton Wise TV before, I've probably told this to you many times, but I feel... Deep, 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 deep in my soul, folks, deep in my soul that the four-unit apartment building is by far the best real estate investment that you can get, the absolute best, right? Anybody who's interested in long-term buy and hold should want to buy a four-unit apartment building, unless, of course, you don't like multifamily and you only want single-family rentals, in which case, yeah, that's cool. That makes sense, right? But for those of you that are out there looking at the multifamily space, the four-unit apartment building is better than the two-unit. It is better than the three-unit. It is better than the five-unit. It is better than the six-unit. You're probably like, okay, I get it. Why? I get why it's better than the two and the three, but why is it better than the five and a six? Financing, man. Financing. I love real estate. I love real estate a lot. Uh, but I don't, like, love real estate because I love architecture or this or that, okay? That's not why I love real estate. I love real estate because I really love money, okay? Money is why I actually love real estate. Real estate is a great vehicle to get me money, okay? It's changed my life. It's made me millions of dollars. I love it. I'd be humping a crappy 9-to-5 job if it wasn't for the money I've made from real estate, okay? If I felt I could make money better doing something than real, other than real estate, I would. Okay, I don't. It's not like I'm like, oh, real estate's got to be real estate. No, dude, I'm a, I'm gonna do what I think makes the most money. But I feel that the real estate investment vehicle is the best investment vehicle over other vehicles, right? Like, I don't know, you could open up a Etsy shop. Uh, you could uh, be a barber. You could do tattoos. You could uh, freaking 
I don't know, whittle little wooden figurines and sell them on said Etsy shop. You could do whatever you want to make some coin, folks. But everything I just mentioned, the Etsy shop, the barber shop, the tattoo shop, you know what you can't get for any of those businesses? You can't get somebody to loan you 75% of your costs over 30 years on low tax deductible fixed interest terms, okay? Yeah, with real estate you can, with residential loans you can, but here's the catch. With residential loans, you only get 10 of them. You should utilize one on your own personal home first. Take care of home base first. That means you only get nine of these residential loans, and they only qualify for single family, duplex, triplex, quad. Okay? So if you only get nine of these loans, they're limited. Four rental income checks is the most rental income checks you can get per loan. So if you take care of home base first, you can get 36 tenants out of your nine loans. 36, in my opinion, is better than nine or 18 or 27, okay? Once you get to a five unit, you're like, oh, cool, let me get five units. Can't get that loan. You got to do a commercial loan. Terms nowhere near as good, right? So I think because of that, four units are by far the best investment because the financing is the best. It's the most rent you can get with the best financing of any type in the world, in my opinion. That's why I love real estate. That's why I love quads when I'm doing real estate. You with me? I hope you are. Take notes, folks. No, don't take notes, because if you take notes, I don't get second views, and you don't have to watch my ads again, and I don't get any more money. Just watch the video five times, and then share it with a friend and tell his ass to watch it too, okay? Get JY's that money, boy! Anyway, 107700 okay? That's what they're asking for this four unit. This thing should normally sell for two, a little bit above two. What is the catch? Why is it half price? And if it is half price, why has it been on the market for three weeks and nobody's bought it? It's half off, right? Should be a $200,000 quad. Why is it so cheap? I'll tell you why it's so cheap, right? Usually there's two reasons. One, uh, three reasons actually. One, the property's totally destroyed. That's not the situation here. Yes, it's run down. Okay, you're going to see it's like old, run down. Okay, nothing special. Like, these are the tenants' units, like just, you know, crummy units, transient stuff, okay? But it's fully occupied, so it's habitable, right? We got four tenants in there. So it's not like it's totally run down. It needs full renovation. That's not the situation. The other thing is maybe the neighborhood's just too horrible, right? No, I like this neighborhood quite a bit. The address is 1053 Washington and Lorraine. I love Lorraine. Lorraine is actually one of my favorite markets to invest in right now because a lot of out-of-state investors have come to the Cleveland market, and they're inflating the prices, but they only look at Cleveland. They don't look at the surrounding area. So I think we get really good uh, pricing in Lorraine. And I like dealing with the government in Lorraine more than I like dealing with the government in Cleveland. So I think for investors, if you're looking for like C-grade stuff, dude, Lorraine is hot right now. But it's not really hot. That's the thing. Like it's hot for me and people to watch my show. But like other people paying attention to the national uh, publications like you always read blogs like where's the best cash flow markets right and Cleveland's always up there well this is in the Cleveland market but nobody looks past the word Cleveland and everybody just focuses on our Cleveland so like it kind of inflates the prices artificially a little bit right so I really really like Lorraine so it's not half off because the neighborhood sucks I like the neighborhood right it's half off because it's being ran like a shit show is what it is right you got four tenants in there okay and they're paying 400, 400, four and a quarter, 400, 1625, okay? And to my understanding, the mom and pop landlord is letting these people pay like every two weeks, right? And then you've seen the pictures, not a lot of furniture. So what you got is just like some mom and pop landlord that's just running it crummy, dude. He's probably got four slummy ass tenants in there with probably without two nickels to rub together, right? It's the only way. You're doing bi-weekly rent. You're doing bi-weekly rent because you're the kind of guy or gal that probably usually lives in a hotel or a motel and pays by the week, right? You just, as soon as you get your money, boom, it's out the door, right? So it's got, you know, four tenants that, in my opinion, are probably not desirable, right? They're probably not going to be your market rent tenants. Your market rent tenants, though, folks, what this should be renting for? Eight hundo, seven fifty, seven fifty, five hundo, twenty eight hundred a month, thirty three thousand six hundred a year. After you run normal fixed and variable expense estimates, that's 
an NOI in my estimation of almost 18k. Now it's not run down, so you don't have to buy a cash. All you gotta do is put down 26,944. Bank kicks in 80,833 for you on that beautiful 30-year mortgage. If you bought it at list 10777, it would project out to a 52% cash on cash return if you got these four slummy tenants to pay market rent without kicking any of them out. 52% cash on cash return. Is that possible? Yes. Is that likely? Probably not, folks. That's why it's half off, right? I can't tell you for sure uh, that you won't be able to uh, get all four tenants to pay market rent and achieve that super high number. Uh, but I'll tell you, I find it to be very unlikely, right? I find the fact that uh, the rents are so low, he's collecting it biweekly, and he's selling it for half off to be just a guy who wants to dump it, doesn't want to deal with it, right? So you have to take uh, this information uh, and understand that you're getting a hundred grand off because these four folks are probably assholes, okay? And uh, maybe we'll get a couple up. Maybe we'll evict a couple. Maybe we'll evict all four. I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, they're unscreened, and uh, the seller's not going to come out and be like, "Yo, these tenants suck." That's not what they're going to say. They're like, "Oh, they're great tenants. They're great tenants." But we got to look at the the clues. It hasn't sold yet. It's half off. He's collecting rent bi-weekly they got no furniture right so assume you're getting crummy tenants assume you're getting crummy tenants is the hundred thousand dollar discount worth it for you to get those crummy tenants assuming all the units look like that you're looking at probably 10k a unit turnover minimum uh 10 to 15 uh depending on if we got to do like kitchens and stuff right so how frequently that that happens remains to be seen right we might get a good egg out of there and keep some folks in there. We don't want to immediately go in and boot everybody, right? The goal, the first goal, what we'd want to do first is we'd want to go in and get everybody to sign a year lease at rents similar to their current rents, okay? Uh, and we're doing that not because we're down to keep those folks in there at super low rents. No, no, no. We're doing that because uh, there's when you get a situation like this, I'm sure these people are on oral leases, right? When the new landlord comes in, and if the tenant doesn't pay you rent ever, right, you then file eviction. Of course, right? But then when we get into court, typically the tenants are like, oh, no, he sold. I paid the old guy. And we always win those cases, but it usually gets delayed. The judge always delays it, lets the tenant try to get more evidence. They can never come up with this evidence, and then we eventually evict them. But every time we go to court, you're dropping at least $700 to have us go to court for you. So what you want to do is you want to incentivize the tenants uh, to sign a lease with you that outlines the terms so then if they do not pay you rent, boom, we evict them in court, no problem. And then we'll do the unit turn and we'll get you uh, a new market rent paying tenant. So this, good investment for the long term. A lot of equity built in. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be a little bit of uh, take some time to stabilize it, right? And there's some unknowns here, right? So is the $100,000 discount uh, worth all of that stuff uh, for you. That's what you have to ask yourself. But I think it's a screamer of a deal, and I believe that we will probably, in my experience, is doing things like this, you know, get a couple of those tenants to stay and eventually pay more rent. But over the next, like, two or three years, I'm sure you're turning at least 50% of that building. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.